This video explains the installation of a Roman top filler valve. The first thing you do is lay off the faucet handles, the spout, and the transfer valve. This one also has a pull-out handheld shower. Then only when you are absolutely sure, go ahead and drill your holes. In this case, it was marble tile on door rock on 2x6. This was too thick to accommodate the transfer valve, so the 2x6 had to be cut away. I also had to do the same thing for the spout. This time, I bored a larger diameter hole and stopped about halfway through. This allowed me to get the washer and nut on. Next, I pre-soldered some 45s and 90s into the transfer valve body. I did this because it is going to be installed in a very tight space and very easy to start a fire. By the way, a transfer valve diverts water from either the spout or the hand shower or both on at the same time. This one has a built-in backflow preventer. Next, tighten the transfer valve in place. Get it tight because you don't want it to move, ever. Do the same thing for the hot and cold supply valves. Make sure the orientation is correct. Have the trim on hand to make sure the handles and spout meet flush against the marble tile. Next, pipe the hot supply to the transfer valve and do the same from the cold. Then the vertical piping is dropped into this case a basement where it will be valved individually. Next, I soldered pipe from the spout adapter to the transfer valve and connected a braided hose that feeds a handheld shower. If anything is going to fail and leak in the future, it's the hose nut. It has a rubber gasket and that could dry out over time and leak. It's a good idea to try to have an access from below if possible. Next, turn the water on and check for leaks. And if all is well, go ahead and set the tub. But that's another video if I ever get around to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.